What up? Loudy on the mic, a.k.a. the Afro Loudmouth Katana Wielding Master. And welcome to my video, y'all. Now, today, we talking about Battleborn and my first impressions. Now, let's get into it. Battleborn is a first-person game with a little bit of third-person in it, like, you know, for taunts and, you know, cams and stuff like that, or spectating what I mean. Now, I went into this game without any knowledge. Now, I've heard the name come up before, Battleborn. We played Battleborn, E3, da -da -da, some stuff like that, but the thing that kept popping up in my head was Overwatch for some reason. Now, me being a person who, um, you know, just likes trying new things, I had to give it a shot. And this shot was worth it. Like, Battleborn is a really fun game. I had tons of fun with it. Mostly, I like... The main reason... Well, one of, one of the many main reasons why I like uh, Battleborn is because of the art style. Now, the art style is just... It's, it's just... Mwah! I just love it. It is... It's so cartoony and comic book-like. It's cartoon... Like, I like... I like I like cartoon games that have like a little violent tone to it, like um, like Fat Princess games like that. I love games like that that have like cartoon stuff to it and like cartoon art style and have like a violent tone to it. And uh, also, the game does not play like anything else. It plays like its own game. It does not play like Call of Duty. It doesn't play like um, Battlefield. Uh, it plays like its own game. If you're wondering that. And, uh, you know, in, in a game like this, the shots of devs, because the devs mixed up the combat. It's like more, this game, uh, if I had to describe it, it was mostly like, it was more like a role type game. Like, perfect example. You got, like, long range to close range to mid range. I mean, like, you got the guy with the swords. You got the guy with the guns. You got the guy with the bigger guns. You got the chick with the scary demon powers with the crazy forms looking like a mutated umber witch. Like, yo, bayonets? Like, what they do to your kid? Like, what, what, what's going on? But I would say my best character is Wrath. Because mainly the guy who voices Vegeta or if he or uh, he voices this, he voices Wrath or if that's not Vegeta. I even mean, had to look that up. And if I am wrong, then shout out to you, man. You're doing a good job sounding like Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Like, it's just something about hearing his voice. Like, this is making me just murder fools left and right. And this, like, this goes, like, 10 to 11 or this 10 to 15. I mean, pfft, or 10 to 5 or something like that. And I would say my second best character is Orendi. Like, I like her play style and I like her. And she, her, she's got funny dialogue. I would say my third favorite is Montana. But my most favorite character of all... And also Montana and Shane and Oryx, which is like this crazy chick who has like, like a skinny chick who has like this little monster that floats over her. Looks like something that's straight out of an anime. But as I was saying, I would say my most favorite character is Reyna. Why do you ask? Well, because of this. I've been really trying. The characters are legit. If I get the full game, I can't wait to try like all of them. Like this is so much fun playing as them. But, 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 you know, let's point out the cons. There were a couple things I didn't like. Like, like I didn't like them, but I learned to understand them and respect the devs' choices for making these choices. Like, for example, in the game, there's this thing called an augment list, and in these augment lists or augment list, excuse me. <laughs> There's like these, um, it's like this little list of full of moves for your character. Like, for example, Wrath, like, you know, or like, um, Wrath has like this one move, or he'll have like a move to where like, this specific move does more damage, but also I can trade that for, for like another thing that will say like, this move slows the enemy down, or it causes damage over time. So, like, it's basically you sacrifice one move for the other. Like, which one is best? Like, which one are you going to choose? Are you going to choose this? Or are you going to choose that? Like, you know, you know, it's, you know, and at the beginning of each game or whatever you play in the game, 
the augment list will be restarted. And I and that kind of annoyed me. I was like, yo, I just like I just did all this work to fill this up and now they just erase everything. But I had to understand because the reason why I did so good, or one one of the many reasons why I did good is because like some of the some of the things in there like help me out, it boosts my stats up or it'll boost my attacks up or give me like an extra move like on a combo. Like on a combo, uh if I have like a character who's good in close range and fights with his hands or a weapon. I had to understand this because like after I upgraded like most of the list or the entire list, I felt like one punch man. But when they re- but I understand because like if I were, were to play another match with my list fully filled out, I'll just go around this murder fools with just one punch. Like I understand. They theirs were like like yo, before you start one punching everybody, how about you like do your push ups first? You do your sit-ups, and you do your little long mile dashes like Saitama did on One Punch Man. So, I understand them. Like, you know, like we had the Awaken Our Shiring Gun first before we start pulling off Susano's left and right and doing Inferno Styles or just doing, like, Sage Art type stuff. Like, you know, I understand, y'all. I understand. Y'all smart. Y'all smart. Also, another thing I didn't like is how when I unlock a new character... And I want to try them out when it's time to choose a match because every match, like I said, is a role game. Like my perfect example, um, I unlocked, uh, I unlocked a character the, uh, the other day, and before I can choose him, someone snags it, and I'm like, "Yo, what the heck?" And I can understand why they didn't want duplicate characters running around the field. Like, for example, Montana, he's a big tank. He takes like he can be long range, mid range, and close range. Um, but he's like a big tank that goes in charging in blocking everything behind him just soaking up all the damage but all but he's not like an op character so let's calm down but he's just soaking up the damage and is you know just going in and escorting and protecting you got wrath who's like a close range specialist who goes in for the kill that has like crazy moves that can just you know just destroy everybody you got arendi who's like a mid-range character shooting like her little energy balls at people and just like you know this this uh this has like devastating moves. Then you have Reyna, who's like a who's like a supporting character. She like I can like her, she has this one move to where like I can give somebody the, like the super shield. She has this one move to where I can like uh I can mark somebody so everybody can like take this person out. Like say they're sneaking around, and then her super move is like I have like this big shield I can protect everybody with. And you know that I can understand why the dev has made this choice to only choose one character. For uh, each match, so I can understand the choices, and but it's also annoying when people like you know do that uh, and just choose their favorite character and, and then just play as and just to get the most kills or just whatever. It's, it's you know, but what can you do? What can you do? Huh? Also, in the game, there is a story mode. This really isn't a complaint, but this is something I wanted to add in. Uh, there's a story mode in the game, like perfect example, like it will just throw you in. With like a bunch of randoms, or you can play with your friends. They'll throw you in. Like you'll be doing missions to where like I'll have to like go across an entire mission escorting this big ginormous mech spider like thing, who has like rockets can fly up to this portal to blow it up from these little things that look like the dark makers from Jack and Dexter. And then it's like I can I just like I have to destroy the portal so they won't destroy um the planets or take over any planets or claim it for their own or whatever. Or I'll do a mission to where, like, I have to go through this giant facility and, and to where like, I, I have to shut down this rogue AI from the sh- from causing, like, so much damage and destroying everything. You know, it's pretty fun, and I really enjoyed that, it, especially with um, other people. Like, it's like, or, like in that in those modes, you have to really work together and uh, string, you know, to string all your skills together and, like, you know, work as a team. It's pretty much fun. I love that. I love that, y'all. Overall, Battleborn was a fun experience. It's an open beta, y'all. So if y'all want to download it, you know, like you know, I really highly recommend it because it's it's for free. It's an open beta. It just came out for a PC and Xbox One just recently for the open betas available. Um, I'm not sure if they have crossplay. If they do, cool. That'll be dope. They also have supply drops. It's always online, so if you're not a fan of that. There's that. But I wouldn't really let that get in the way of, you know, your experience is a lot of fun. And I, you know, it's really enjoyable. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably will most likely cop this game. 
when it drops, uh, I will most likely buy it. Maybe hopefully I'll have a job by then to get it. It was a fun experience. Like I said, I recommend it for uh, anybody who has a PS4, Xbox One, or PC. And um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the game. If you enjoyed hearing me ramble about a game, then drop a like button. You know, share it with friends. Share it, like you know, just share. With your favorite YouTubers, let them know. Like, you know, let them know I'm trying to collab. You know, I'm trying to collab with more YouTubers. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Share, subscribe, leave a comment if you play the game or, you know, stuff like that. Or something I missed in here, stuff like that. And, um, I'll see you on the next video. Yeah. Bye!